Hey everybody, what's going on? Hexlex here with another Master Duel video for you. Another video for our free to play series. So in the last video, we went ahead and took on the rookie and bronze ranks and had no trouble uh, clearing through those. Not that I think we would, but it definitely helps that we, I think we went first literally every single game in rookie and bronze. So yeah, that definitely helped. We had a nice little windfall of gems after um, making it through those ranks. We got a couple more uh, rewards for logging in. Uh, yeah, it's the 26th, the day I'm recording this, so we just got our uh, video games 2022 commemoration sleeve. Uh, actually, I, I don't mind it. It looks pretty good. So we get that, and then we also get, of course, our daily login bonus as well. So that's going to bump us up to 3,700 gems, but not that it's really going to make a difference. I'm not going to buy individual packs for 100 gems a piece. Uh, I think it's definitely worth it to buy gems, or uh, packs rather, 10 at a time. Uh, but if I'm not going to be buying gems, that would definitely ruin the whole purpose of the free-to-play series. So, yeah, I want to be buying some more uh, hero packs, but as you can see here, we currently don't have any secret packs. So, you know, it's like, oh, whatever are we going to do? Well, it's actually not that big of a deal. Um, you don't have to, like... Because I've seen some people mistakenly assume that if there are no secret packs available, you have to start opening master packs to unlock them. But no, you definitely don't have to do that. And I would never advise doing that. Uh, as I mentioned multiple times, I don't think master packs are really uh, honestly ever worth unlocking. I'm going to go ahead and delete these starter decks because I'm never ever going to use them. Uh, deleting a deck will, of course, not delete the cards in your collection. It just, uh, yeah gets rid of the uh, deck itself there. So I want to craft a hero card in order to unlock one of the um, packs that I want to open here. So let's see, I'm going to craft a super rare because uh, that's all I need to craft in order to open the pack. Actually, you know what? Um, I think I want some more, I might want some more transfigured, oh, of course so many cards with the mask in the name. I might want some more transfigured hero packs. So I might craft a mask change. I was trying to decide which one of these packs I want to open because I was going through some of the comments and, and one comment to read a pretty good point to the first hero is like, yeah, we need Stratus and a hero lives out of it, but the rest of the cards in that pack are so bad uh, that that pack's probably actually not worth opening. Um, uh, there's also Shrouded Heroes too, because actually I do want a playset of three Ferris, I think. I know I said I could probably get away with two, but I'd like a playset of three, so from that pack I would need... Um, what is it? Two Ferris and a Vion. And I think Super probably might be in that pack as well. But I could still use the Dark Laws. I'm gonna go for Transfigured Heroes. I actually, I also don't think I've opened this pack yet, so might be best to do that. Let me make a Mask Change. And uh, that's gonna go ahead and unlock that Secret Pack for us. Oh yeah, I haven't actually gotten a free pull from this pack yet, so I'm, I'm fairly glad I did that. Okay, we did get at least a Super out of our free pack, so that's nice. Let's see what it is. It's a hero card. Okay, it's a Shadow Mist. And that's actually gonna unlock the first Heroes pack, pulling that Shadow Mist as well, yeah, as you can see here, so. Um, that said though, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna buy into the first Heroes pack that much. What all is in here? Yeah, Super Poly is in here. Malicious Bane I'd play, if I could hold it, so. The problem, yeah, the problem is, like, I'm not super into the evil heroes. You know what, I'll buy at least one 10-pack of this, maybe two. Okay, so we got at least one guaranteed ultra. It's pretty mid-luck, just looking at the initial packs there. <coughs> Pardon me, I, I might be coughing a little bit during this video. I don't know if I'm coming down with something, or if it's just, I don't know. But, uh, let's see here. I really thought that said something else. Synchro Cracker, huh? Okay, um... Let's see what else we got. Cancer is what I thought it said. I thought it said Synchro Cancer. It's very tasteful, I know. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, no, nothing exciting yet. We haven't even gotten any of our guaranteed super packs yet, so... Okay. Here's one. There's the Utopia, which, <laughs> based on what the comments are saying, like, I don't know, I still can't really make heads or tails of what it actually means. I think from what people were saying, it just kind of means, like, increased odds of getting, like, an upgraded finish? I don't know. Ooh, we got a couple of supers out of this pack. 
Okay, we got acid. That's you know, to be fair, at this stage in the account, like, pulling supers for the deck is actually pretty good. Because, like, I mean, you saw when we crafted the Mask Change, we actually don't have, like, a whole lot of super craft points right now. Uh, in the long run, super craft points aren't really, like, much of an issue, but... Here's another Mask Change. Uh, in the long run, I don't think I'm going to have much of an issue getting super craft points, because why well, don't on the main account? But uh, in the short term, you know, it is definitely still something to uh, be considering here. Okay, here's our Ultra. So we're looking for Dark Law, mostly. Um, ooh, it is a hero card, that's good. I was gonna say, Super Poly is another card we'll take, so... Okay, I'm actually glad to have pulled that. I wonder if it's actually worth opening another one of these. I think I might. Another one of these packs, I mean, because there's still the Super Poly, the Dark Laws, the Malicious Bane I would play as well. Only one Ultra. Luck is still pretty mid at this point. Yeah, I'll open another one of these. Ugh, speaking, <laughs> speaking of mid-luck, it definitely just continues here. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's funny. I, well, because here's the thing, too, on my main account, I haven't even really spent, like, that much, honestly. I was going to say, um... The free-to-play luck is is so much worse <laughs> so far, um, but no, like I said, even on my main account, like I, I touched on this in a video before. I think the last time I actually spent like money and uh, okay, like see, I guess that must that has to be just increased odds, right? Because even though it got all fancy and turned to gold, like this pack is ass. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the last time I think I spent money on, like, the main account was, like, back when Sword Souls first came out. It was in May. It's been a long, long time. Um, and I mean, beyond that, it just comes down to, like, making sure you log in every day and do your missions. I didn't even log in every day, honestly, but, um, you know, log in with some relative, uh, frequency, you know. Doing your missions. Participating during the events is actually the big one to getting a lot of gems. Uh, because each event, if you... Um, you know, get all the gem rewards for it, we'll get you somewhere, like, a, somewhere in the neighborhood of, I think it's, like, what, about 3,500 gems or so? Um, so definitely doing that every month is, is crucial to being a free-to-play player. Granted, it's, of course, a lot easier to coast and be free-to-play after you spend a little bit of money, but as I said before, I think among digital card games, like, Master Duel is one of the more free-to-play friendly ones. It's not, like, I don't know, it's, it's so funny when you call things free-to-play friendly, because everyone's got a different definition of that, and that definition tends to wi uh, like pretty wildly vary. Um, some people, I don't know, some people think free-to-play friendly means I can build literally like, whatever deck I want without spending anything, and it's like, well, if that were the case, oh god, it's not even a hero card, that's not good. Um, it's like, if that were the case, then, you know, like, we'd just be on, <laughs> wow, we got a Sword Soul card. That's actually kind of funny that we got this uh, Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign here. You know, of all the generic ultras to craft, or to have, not craft, to have pulled, this is definitely not a bad one. Not even just for like going into Sword Soul as a deck, but like, this is a very good generic level 10 synchro to have, so. Yeah, I'm not actually disappointed in pulling this. I mean, I am a little bit, obviously I, I am focused on heroes, I want to play heroes, but I could have pulled worse generic ultras, let me just say that. And last pack here. I don't know, I think the only thing I was really going to say there was that, like, you know, it's, we, I don't know, it, it's like, yeah, of course I would love for, you know, there to be no cost to play this game, to be able to play, like, whatever deck I want with no cost, but, you know, realistically, you know, the, the there's got to be some kind of economy system to keep the game flowing, so, of the economy systems of other digital card games I've played, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel has a, a relatively fair model, relatively, of course, you know, in the re realm of being... You know, like a, a digital card game, but still. Um, anyway, so I've got one more 10 pack I can open. I think I would rather open. I think I might rather open the Destiny Hero pack. Um, I don't think I opened that. That would be Shrouded Heroes, I believe is what it's called. I don't think I. Oh, that's only going to take me to that one secret pack page. It's not going to take me to the shop page. Let me go back here. Uh, okay, here we go. Secret packs. Yeah, I don't have Shrouded Heroes yet. Maybe, I don't know. I've already got the Sunrise. I just need the Stratos and the Hero Lives. It's all I need from this pack. 
I don't even think I really need any of the supers. Yeah, I don't know if this is the best pack to open. Hmm. Let me think for a second. Yeah, I... Hmm. You know what? I want to open Shrouded Heroes. I want to I want to do that next. So let me... I'd have to craft a super from that pack that I know I'm going to use. I guess that would be malicious, yeah. I only have one, so we'll go ahead and make another. And I think that might actually be a free... Yeah, okay, that's going to be a free pull from this pack, too. So I'm actually pretty glad that I did that. Ooh, it's got an Ultra in it. Okay, this is good. This is good. Hopefully our luck will turn around at least a little bit here. Ah, dang it. It's not from the Hero cards, though. Hmm. But we have another Super Ultra, too. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. Eh. I don't know. Again, there are worse ultras I could have pulled. This isn't really generic, but it's like relatively, at least like, <laughs> I don't know. I could splash a cyber dragon if I really wanted to, but no, I, I won't be. Well, definitely can't complain about getting that ultra since it was free. Oops, no, I don't want cards included. I want uh, featured cards. So actually you do use Vision Hero Trandy. I know when I pulled this, I was like, oh, I don't even think you use this. You do actually use a copy, so I'm fairly glad I pulled that. Um, that's yeah, looking for two of these and one of these, but that's it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to play anything else in this pack, though. That's the thing. Ugh. See, this is another thing that makes building hero decks really hard. It's trying to decide, like, which pack you're going to... You know, I, I unlocked it. I'll, I'll, I'll buy a 10-pack of this. Why not? Okay. We, we got at least one ultra. And, oh, we got an upgraded rarity dine attack, great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, looking for two Ferris, one Vion from this pack. Yeah, honestly, because I only need three Ultras from this pack, I'm probably not going to be buying too much more of it. If I pull one of the Ultras I need, I'll definitely just craft the other two. I don't, I don't think I'm going to buy too much more into this pack after this. If at all, honestly. You got a couple of supers there. Not that we're going to use either of them, but... And nope. You know, I think after this... Hmm. Nah, uh, we're not that close. I was going to say, I want to see how close we are to finishing the deck, so I might start building it after this, but... Uh, I don't think we're close enough to start yet. I think I'm probably just going to go ahead and play some games after I open these packs. Okay, here's our Ultra. Oh, come on! It needs to be among the hero cards. Oh, Teardrop the Rika Queen. Yeah, I definitely don't have any plans to play Rikas, so... Rip. Oh well. You know, to be fair, at least the Ultras... Actually, you know what? I should go to the collection and see, like, how many Ultras I'm going to end up dismantling. I wonder if I have enough yet. Well, because the other thing, too, is that we still have to craft staples. But the only other staples I really feel the need to craft for heroes right now is probably the Called Buys. The Maxis and Nibiru can come later. Um, they'll be good, but not, like, you know, as important. But the Ashes and the Called Buys we definitely need. Those I would definitely consider, like... Like, Maxi and the Bureau, I would also consider staples. I do play those in, like, the vast majority of decks I play, but a deck can function. Um, oh, hey, look at that. We got a Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Um, this is actually, like, <laughs> part of the staple cycle of hand traps, like Ash Blossom and Ghost Spell. But unfortunately, this one... Yeah, this one I'm not super excited about, uh, about playing. <laughs> Uh, although, actually, I don't know. Is it playable? Let's see. Special summons a monster, discard, target one of those faces of monsters. Eh, I don't know. Blech. Probably not. I'm probably not going to play it, honestly. Like, even as a budget, op like, quote unquote budget option, like, budget is in, it's in my collection. I, I don't think even then I'm going to play it. Oh, Imperm. That's the other. I knew there was, like, one other staple card I was, like, thinking of uh, putting in the deck before Maxi and Nibiru. It's probably going to be Imperms there, so. Alright, well, neither of those Ultras were for our deck, so let me actually see real quick. Um, 
Let me go back here. I'm actually gonna make a new deck. Oops, not Jiro. Hero. I know I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I actually do wanna see just how close we are. Um, let me dismantle all extras. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then uh, I'm gonna sort this by not obtained order. Um, I usually just sort it by number owned, honestly. It's actually still gonna be a bunch of hero stuff. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so let me be a bit more specific instead of just typing in hero. Let me pull up the hero deck breakdown here. All right, let's start with some of the ultras. Of course, we're gonna play Ash Blossoms. You know, what? I think I am just actually gonna build out what I want my build to look like here. So. That way we can have kind of a goal to work towards, and we can just kind of fill this in as we go. Alright. Stratos, we want a couple of copies of that. Uh, Vion, we want a couple of copies of that. Uh, Malicious. Yeah, there's those. Um, called by, we're going to want a couple of copies of. Called by, might, I actually just might craft those now and then put those in my Salaman Great deck. Because, like, you know, obviously we're not going to be... Um, we're not going to be like running a hero deck out. We're still going to be using this Salamangrate deck for quite a bit. But uh, what else? Oh, Denier. That's Denier. Um, I had to pull Denier. But um, yeah, no, we're going to be running this Salamangrate deck for a little bit still. Um, but we definitely will still play Codwise in that, of course. Um, it's funny, Super Poly actually isn't that played. I'm actually looking for regular polymerization. Super Poly isn't really played that much in Heroes, from what I can tell nowadays. Uh, well, at least I'm looking at the Hero deck breakdown here, and I don't uh, don't see it on the main page. It is, of course, oops, it is of course still playable in the deck, mind you, but uh, I don't think... Oh yeah, we'll definitely play one of those. Um, I actually might... Hmm. I actually, the, the finish, which version I play actually kind of matters a little bit here because the glossy finish will give you 15 dismantle points, or dismantle for 15 instead of 10. So I think I might actually just play the regular version here. Um, now fusion, it's fusion destiny. Boom, and then, oh that's Dark Angel, that's right, because there's a whole like play, I still gotta learn a little bit about this deck too, because like, I might have played heroes like in the past. But the last time I played Heroes was like when Dark Law first came out, so that would have been, uh, what, 2014, I think, is when that happened. Um, Plasma, uh, Reinforcements, re can I spell? I mean, no, I can't, but can I spell well enough to, yeah, to at least guess it? <laughs> um, let's see, Imperm, some of those. Um, all right, now we still got four slots. I mean, ideally that would probably be like Maxis and Nibiru, but well, you know what? Why not? Let's throw those in there. Cause this will be like kind of like the ideal build, right? And I mean, this is just like the first, this is a very rough draft, but this is kind of like what I'm thinking for like, if I was gonna build a hero deck for the main channel, it might look something like this. I probably wouldn't play three droplet. Maybe I would, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll find out this, we'll be fine with this for the time being. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so yeah, if I was going to build it for the main channel, right? This is what I would want the main deck to look like. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, let's just sort by hero extra deck monsters. And then I realized, like, that, that, that doesn't narrow it down, like, at all. Uh, Cross Crusader is what I'm looking for. I want two of those for the extra deck. Dark Law, we'd ideally like two of those. Um... That's a mask here, I just don't know which one that is. Oops. The wind one. Or the good wind one, this one. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's Sunrise. Oh, we already have Sunrise in the deck. Um, absolute Zero. Boom. Uh, Trinity. Boom. There's Mask Zero. Acid. Oops. Acid. DPE, of course, which is not in any of the hero packs, which is dumb, but okay. Like, I know that, like, the, the, these are extra heroes, right? That's what the Link ones are called? Yeah. Like, I know that, you know, um, it came out after all the other stuff did, but still, at the same time, you would think that they would 
include it. I guess not vert. We will want to vert for this extra deck for sure. It's like great tornado is used. That's interesting. Um, and I guess we have a free slot unless I missed a copy of a card. Yeah, it's like we have a free slot here. So um, we'll, we'll just leave that at 14 and fill in the last slot. Probably just depending on what we pull. So, okay. Now we can actually clearly see how many ultras we're missing. So um, I'm going to call this heroes. Oops, if I can. There we go. I'm going to call this hero 1.0. Okay. And let me pull up that again. All right. So, yeah, this is, I think, what the build ideally would look like. Of course, we'd throw in an extra, extra deck monster as well. But, like, if I was going to build this deck for, like, the main channel, this is probably close to, if not the exact build I would start on. So... What are we missing here? As far as hero stuff goes, we're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 ultra cards. You see why this deck is so expensive now. 13 ultras. Um, okay. Now that I've done that, let me take a look at... Not hero. Um, let me look at specifically ultras. Um, wait, what? Uh, there we go. Okay. Now I want to dismantle selected. I, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Don't need this. This. I'm just going to put in everything that I'm not planning on playing for heroes and just see even those, honestly. Oh, and then that too. Okay, let me start. Hang on. Let me start by doing this, right? These are two glossy finish cards that I don't need. So that's a total of 30. I don't need the extra copy of that. I don't need this Neos. And I don't need this Solid Soldier. So that's that's enough for two Ultras right there. Um, okay, and then one, two, three. So now I have enough for three Ultras right there. Okay, so I'll keep these two, I guess, for the time being. Because uh, I, I don't have enough uh, craft points to get. I, I talked about this before. When I dismantle ultras, I like to wait until I have, like, exactly enough to make an ultra. Because then you're just left with an awkward... I mean, I still have an awkward amount of craft points anyway. But um, it also gives you a little more time to think about certain cards. Like, do I really want to disenchant these two? Like, these two could be useful in the long term. So they might end up making it. Or they might end up making it into the collection. Not the deck, obviously. But they might make it into the collection. But uh, this account, I am going to be really focused on heroes. I know I'm not going to use any of this stuff, though, right? I'm definitely not going to use Neos. I definitely don't need this. I don't need a second copy of this or this. Guardian Chimera, I think I might actually keep that. Because I forgot, this could, this is actually kind of playable in Heroes. I'll dismantle this instead. I think that's fine. All right. So now I have 236 Ultra Craft points. That's enough for seven Ultras. And I need, what, 13? Is that what I said? Well, that's 13, that's not counting the Maxis and the Nibiru, or the Feather Duster, or the Droplet, or the Imperm. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Alright. Let's just go... Hang on, yeah, I will save this. Let's just go play some games. <laughs> we'll worry about this later. Let's just go play some, uh, some duels here. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of Silver Rank in this one video. Probably just gonna go through maybe 5 and 4, and then... Do the rest of Silver Rank in another video. We'll see. Just depends how long it takes. We're at, what, a little over 20 minutes right now? It's funny, you know, normally I like to really chop things up as far as, like, editing goes. But for this series, for some reason, I'm just kind of like... Well, I think it's because I want to show, like, the whole process of what I'm doing. Like, the whole process of crafting cards and building decks I, I don't normally show on the main channel. But here, uh, you know, I definitely want to make sure that I'm... Uh, illustrating all that. What does this do during your Mayfaze even special? Okay, so we should have some decent plays here. We can at least make a Heat Soul, I think. Let's see what this Foxy gets us. Oh, I should use Foul's effect. That was a misplay. Um, this card is in your graveyard. Blah, blah, blah. No, it's... Uh, well, I'll just add another Foxy for next turn. I'll, I'll also get another chance to summon Foul here, I'm pretty sure. When I summon this Bay Lynx. Yeah. We will. Alright, so Bay Lynx F, Foul F. 
still running our Forbidden Chalice here, <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we only have one of each droplet in Imperm, but I think for Silver that's still gonna be fine. Okay, so... Let me see something. During your main phase, you can switch someone with some reasons. Okay, so I don't need to actually have a Salamagre card on the field in order to get that effect. Um... Yeah, actually, I can go for Sunlight Wolf and get the Foul back to my hand, so I think I'm gonna... Uh, hmm, but then I won't be able to go... Yeah, you know what? That's actually fine. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, even though I don't think I plan on going into the, like, extra rank up... Not extra rank up, Jesus, what's it called? Um, when you... There's probably a name for it when you actually when you do the the link for the same monster. I'm not gonna be doing that here, but I do want to still play Sunlight Wolf as my link too because I'm gonna summon. Um, I think I'm gonna summon the Foxy to the zone it points to and then add the Foul back to my hand. And then I'm just gonna go for Heat Soul. I don't need a Foxy in hand because I already have one, obviously. So yeah, let's special summon this here. Get this back. Oh, that's right. I need two different attributes to go into Heat Soul, though. That's what it is. Hmm. I might just leave the board state like this, then? There's no real point to going into Decode Talker, right? Yeah, because I won't have... There's nothing I'll be pointing to. And I've already got a Chalice, anyway. Uh, there's not really any point in going into the next version of Sunlight Wolf, or like the, the other Sunlight Wolf, because I don't have anything grave to add. So I think I'm just going to set these. And then pass. It's a little bit of an awkward play to end on, but I think this will probably be fine. Plus then if these survive into our next turn, this is a very easy way to get... What is this Dogmatica Nation? Neither player can target Dogmatica monsters to control with effects. I don't care about that. After damage, Calc, okay. If this card is destroyed, that's fine. Okay, I don't literally don't care about anything this field spell does. Right? <laughs> Let me just make sure. <laughs> yeah, damage, Calc. If this card is destroyed, neither player can target. Yeah, no, that's all fine. And the opponent just set a couple of cards before passing, so... Alright. Dogmatica Punishment. Do I want to Solemn that? I think I do, actually. Because I don't want them sending, like, um, the Nordic monster. Not Nordic, she's, um, Elder Entity Natis. I don't want them to send that and blow up another one of my cards, too. Alright, oh my god, we're, like, spoiled for choice here. I guess, to be fair, I had the Bane Lynx in Grave, but, nah, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna start by normal summoning Foxy again. Let's see if our opponent's got a response. Special summon... Let's see... A Dogmatica or Fallen of Albaz monster, that's fine. I'll special summon Foul while I'm at it. It's got a nasty effect, we can just negate it with Chalice. Like if it's actually Fallen of Albaz or something that they're gonna try to fuse. No, it's um, what is this? Fusion, da da da. Oh yeah, we're just gonna add. Um, I have Normal Summoned, right? Yeah, I'll add Salmon Great Rage, just in case things go bad. But what does this do? This card is special summon. You can target a Dogmatica card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. That's fine. An opponent's monster declares an attack. That's irrelevant. Okay, so, yep, this card doesn't do anything relevant. Nothing to affect the board state anyway. I don't even feel the need to chalice it. Alright, let's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's just end this. Oh, hey, why not? Add that Foxy back. And now we go for Z-axis code. 
Honestly, this is kind of another reason why I went into Salman Greats. Uh, just aside from them, I think being one of the better structure decks is like being able to access code plus update jammer uh, really does make grinding through these easier or these uh, earlier games a lot easier, I think. Because, like, um, I don't know. I, I There was a part of me that didn't want to play, like, some combo deck. Because, like, I saw a couple people suggest Pendulum Magician, and I was actually kind of close to building that deck, like, getting that structure deck, because I don't have that deck on my main account. And I was like, you know, hey, why not? You know, I can um, kind of kill two birds with one stone with that. But I also didn't want to learn, like, a whole new deck. Like for this series, especially one as complicated as Pendulum Magician, so it's kind of my excuse there, I guess. Definitely don't want to chalice my own access code, because it'll ultimately put it down to 2700 attack points by negating its effects, but there we go. Pretty easy game there. But yeah, the, the ability to update Jammer plus access code and end the game really quickly, as opposed to me, like, fumbling through pendulum combos, very long ones that I'm just starting to learn at, like, bronze rank. I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like doing that. <laughs> so, that's why I didn't pick the Pendulum Magician deck. I think for complexity's sake, the Salaman Great... Well, if you're looking for the least complex of those decks, I'd say it's probably tied between Salaman Great and Dragon Maid, honestly. Dragon Maid might be a little less complex. Like, Dragon Maid's core plan is pretty simple, you know. Small dragons tag into big dragons, and then sometimes you fuse for an even bigger dragon. Okay, here... Hmm... I'm trying to think if I want to start with Lady Debug or Foxy. Because I think what I could do is I could Lady Debug, go into Bailings, get the Sanctuary... And then obviously I can special Foul from hand, and then I can just add Gazelle. Yeah, this works. I'm going to start by summoning Debug here. This is actually one of the rare hands where I think summoning Lady Debug is right, uh, even above, like, the Foxy. So yeah, we'll add the Gazelle. And uh, it's because I have Foul in my hand, specifically. Because now I can go into Bay Links. I can even Chain Block. Oh, I don't know. This isn't a Chain Block, because my opponent has a prompt to respond here, I think. But, well, they would have gotten one if they had Nash Blossom between uh, Bay Links and Foul activating. Because they, uh, they weren't simultaneous triggers. I didn't get the opportunity to decide which one I wanted to activate. Now, is this once per turn? Let me see. Yeah, okay, that is once per turn. So, um, But I don't actually don't have to do that. I can just summon Sunlight Wolf. Well, I was going to say, like, you know, Bay Links for Bay Links was Sanctuary, but... I don't have to do that because um, I can just summon the Gazelle when the Sunlight Wolf gets summoned here and send the Rage that way. Or not Rage, Roar. I always get Rage and Roar mixed up for some reason. Alright, now let's go here. Oh shoot, I should have summoned Gazelle in the Sunlight Wolf zone. What was I thinking? Then I could have added the Foul back to my hand. Ah, whatever. I always miss that when I play this deck. Oh, no, don't activate that effect. Activate this effect. Because if you activate the Roar effect, it'll get uh, banished. But not if you add it back with the Sunlight Wolf there. Uh, yeah, I'll just set Rage and Roar and pass here, I think. Gotta play for next turn, so that's pretty rad. Yeah, a bit of a misplay there. I could have had... Well, to be fair, it would have just been another Foul in my hand, and I've already got one. So, I mean, I should, still should have done it. It would have been another card in my hand, but... It's not like the end of the world. See, so yeah, I've got an Omni Negate, and I can. Ooh, hang on a sec. What are they targeting? The Roar? Wow, they actually hit the Roar. Um, target one set support track runs feel destroy. During your main phase of the turn, you can manage to score from your hero. Target one face up, destroy it. Uh, is there any reason to, uh, that I would want to chain this? Nah, it's fine. Maybe destroy it. Hmm. I'm a huge fan of this card. I think Cosmic Cyclone is better. Or not Cosmic Cyclone, uh, No, yeah, Cosmic Cyclone, okay. Put this to on real quick. What are they summoning here? Galaxy Cleric. This card is in your hand, you can target it. This card is more special summon. Target five stuff with different names. That's fine. It's Pot of Avarice for Galaxy Monsters, got it. I flip my toggle to on so that way. 
I can maybe activate this rage at a like opportune effect or at an opportune time. But I don't think I'll need to do that. I'm just gonna activate it now and blow up what they put on the field. This is prime example of why you do not set spell and trap cards before you um, enter your battle phase, by the way. All right, so let's see. Now, as I get, like, yeah. Now, as always, as ever, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just go for my update jammer access code OTK. I'm gonna start by normal summoning the Foxy. Um, okay, my opponent didn't get a prompt to respond like at all, so I think I will just go ahead and throw out the Foul as well. I was gonna, I was just about to say like, if my opponent has a prompt to respond, I think I'll wait on the Foul, but nah, I don't think this is a live card here. Doesn't really matter what I add here, honestly. Yeah, Falco, that's fine. I'm pretty unimpressed by this monster. Um, of the Salmite Great monsters, like that have even made the cut, I think this is one of the like more questionable ones. Um I'll add Roar or Raged. <laughs> I did it again, I keep doing it, I don't know. Um, let's see. Um blah, 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 blah. Update jammer. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that. I will definitely add the gazelle back to my hand. Let me go, blah, 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 access code. I was maybe potentially thinking about crafting a couple more supers for the, um, the Salman Great deck, actually. Those being Baguska and Transcode Talker. Uh, and then maybe, they're probably just those two for the time being, but um, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think if we're in gold and we're still playing the Salman Great deck, like we haven't uh, finished the hero or like, you know, gotten started on the hero deck yet, um, then maybe I'll craft some of those supers, but I do want to just save my craft points for the most part in the meantime here, so okay, let's finish Sunlight Wolf, destroy that. All right, so there is a pretty easy couple of games getting us through Silver 5. Yeah, we should definitely should, should definitely be able to do Silver 4, I think, in the uh, in this video as well. I yeah, get some more gems. You know what? We should go until we get enough gems to... Um, ooh, we got 15 gems from that duel. That was pretty good. We should just go until we get enough gems to open another 10-pack, and then we'll end the video by doing that. That, that's, that, that sounds good. So I think probably after I rank up to Silver 3, we'll probably have enough gems to do that. Oh my god, we lost a coin flip. But we're going first anyway. We've still gone first every single game, by the way. We've lost two coin flips, but both times we lost the coin flip, our opponent let us go first anyway. The funny thing is, this deck doesn't even really mind going second. I need to remember to look at how many cards my opponent has their main in extra deck. That is, at this point, still going to be a determinant sometimes in, like, what I think their overall skill is. I don't know. Okay. I think I'm going to sign that mining discard spinny for Flame Buffalo and summon that Pitch Falco here is my plan. Although, obviously, if they Ash this, then we'll just play the Lady Debug instead. Uh, if that happens, our plays are definitely... Well, actually, no. I think because we discarded spinny, I don't think our plays will be that much more awkward at all. So opponent is playing Ash Blossoms, so. Alright. Let's see. Summon Debug, activate effect. I'm gonna grab a gazelle here. And then I'm gonna send this for Baylinks and bring back Spinny. And then we'll go for Sunlight Wolf. You know, we'll do the whole the whole drill there. Too bad Spinny's gonna get banished. Yeah, there's no way for me to avoid that, unfortunately, because I can't summon another level 3 monster to go for an XC summon here. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal, but it means we won't have anything to add back with our Sunlight Wolf, so this time around it won't necessarily be a misplay unless this adds any. It adds a fire monster. 
But yeah, Lady Debug is not a fire monster. But I do still want to summon this gazelle. And I think this time I'm actually going to intentionally leave it out of the zone of Sunlight Wolf, so that way maybe next turn I can summon something in Sunlight Wolf's zone to add something back. If we can ascend the roar. Not that effect, this effect. I always have to tell myself to do that, because it's pretty easy for me to, to not. Alright, cool. I actually could have gone for a Bailinx and then added a Gazelle back to my hand. That actually might have been better. Well, I wouldn't have had another Bailinx to... Well, because I was thinking, well, then I could... Because in the next turn, I could summon Falco. But I'd still have to send a Salman Great Monster to the graveyard, is the thing. And I wouldn't have a third Bailings to go into with the Falco. Hmm. Yeah, I think this play is fine. I mean, yeah, the other play would have technically gotten another material on the board. Like, would have net gained another material. Oh, we're playing against uh, Galaxies again. This is, oh, this might be the same opponent, actually. Um. Okay, what do they discard? Photon Orbital. During the main phase, target, blah, blah, blah. This card is sent. So this card... If this equip card, you can send this equip card. Okay, I just had trouble parsing that sentence for a second. Um, I think I'm actually gonna negate this with Roar because it's gonna leave my opponent with three cards in hand. They're not gonna be able to search, and hopefully they just won't have any plays after that. It's Galaxies, so there's a decent chance they might not. Hmm. That's why Yiki's definitely not doing really anything right now. <laughs> I mean, if they answer our board, it might. Oh, did our opponent rage disconnect? I see. Hmm. Suspicious. I, I answered you your your play, and then now all of a sudden you're having connection issues. Yeah, I I, I sense a, a connection failed coming on here. Um, yeah, no, this why Yiki doesn't do a whole lot unless our opponent clears our board. But I guess it makes you know for a good backup. I guess at that point. So yeah, hey, look at that. Their connection. Just happened to have failed after they countered them perfectly. How about that? All right. <laughs> Let's see. Next duel here. Oh, that's not a that's not a very fun name. I'm gonna report that actually after this. Uh, well, we lost the coin flip and are going first again, so. That's nice, at least. I might have a full extra deck. They do. Okay. Um, Here, am I going to summon Foxy or Debug? I already opened Sanctuary. That's a little awkward. Um, let's see. If I summon Debug, grab Gazelle, go into Bailinx, Sanctuary... Eh, mm. I'm going to go for Foxy here. Debug's just a little bit awkward because I don't have another extender after that. Okay, they don't have an Ash Blossom, or Valor, or an Imperm. Unfortunately, that Falco does not really do anything, as far as extending our plays. Hmm, there's no reason to go into Bailinx here, is there? Well, the reason to go into Bailinx here would be to Bailinx Sanctuary Bailinx, and then potentially protect the Bailinx on board with the one engraved to have an extra material going into the next turn, but that's so niche. Uh, I'm just gonna set Chalice and Pass here. Very awkward hand. This might be our first loss. It's all gonna depend on how far this chalice can carry us. Hand destruction. It's definitely not the card I was expecting my opponent to play. That's fine though. I'll just discard Falco and Jaguar. They discarded Mizuki and Mizuki. Alright. Ooh, we got an Ash Blossom. Okay, feeling better. Feeling a lot better about this game now, actually. They can draw one card. I don't feel the need to negate that with Ash. Not that I don't think <laughs> anyone would. Okay, this Hand Destruction, though. Am I going to negate this with Ash Blossom? Because I don't really want to discard anything in my hand. I want to keep the Sanctuary. Well, 
Yeah, because I want to keep both of these. I'm going to play this Ash Blossom. Because I don't want them to put... I also don't want them to put anything in Grave that's scary that they can get back with this Mizuki, either. If their hand is just big zombies, I want it to stay big zombies they can't summon. This thing eat. Okay. That's fine. I'm definitely going to negate that too. Of course. Yeah, the fact that they went for the discard effect tells they probably it's probably a baller dock. They probably got some big zombie in their hand they want to send and bring back with Mizuki. Yeah, battle over the foxy. Figured that was going to happen. Okay, we do have the Jaguar and Falco engrave, so we do have some extenders happening here. Does this destroy... No, you return it to the hand. Return a Salmon Great Monster you control to the hand. Okay, so if I summon Lady Debug, then I go for Bailinx. Summon Lady Debug, add the Gazelle, go for Bailinx, um, bring back the Jaguar... Link them off for. Hmm. Link them off for a link to special summon the gazelle. Gazelle effects and spinny. That should be enough for access code uh, update jammer OTK. I actually want that in attack mode, just in case they negate something here. Um, Alright, and then now we go into... I'm going to Sunlight Wolf just to be safe, I guess. I can even summon that in this zone and then go... here... and here. Uh, oh, I can add back Ash Blossom. I'm definitely going to do that. And then we'll send Spinny. And Spinny F. And then now we can go into Update Jammer. And then Access Code. Stop me if you've seen this one before. <laughs> Activate Update Jammer, activate Access Code. Doesn't really matter which one I target. Alright, there we go. I actually did think I was going to lose that one for like a minute there. Mostly due to the opening hand more than anything else, but honestly, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that opening hand was really awkward. I'm just really glad we managed to uh, win that one. Also, while I'm thinking about it, um, here we go. Yeah, I would definitely want to report that name. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do that. Um, oh, there's no, that's right, there's no reporting option for name. Ugh. Come on, Master Duel. Be better than that. All right, whatever. Um, let's go back here. We cleared. Actually, we've got a lot more missions than I was expecting to get there, including our some of our dailies. Ooh, we got a total of a thousand gems from that. That's nice. We had a thousand and twenty. Is that enough for two? Ah, oh, we're seventy gems short. Can I get like seventy gems real quick? Oh, that's in, that's that's so close. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? I bet I can from the dual pass here. 
Nice. Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, we got 80 gems. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So now we can get two more uh, 10 packs to end this video off. So let's go to shop. Secret pack. Um, what did I decide I was going to open? What all do I still need from here? Uh, one, two, maybe three, maybe four. So like two-ish. Two, I definitely need two-ish. Um, Shrouded Heroes, I need uh, one, two, three cards. And then First Heroes was five, but the rest of the pack is pretty meh. Let's just do Shrouded Heroes. Ooh, two Ultras. Good to be good. I think I'll probably... Well, we'll see what we get here. I got a vision hero Trinity. I mean, we don't need that. So, but it is we can dis yeah, we can dismantle that. So, yeah, I think we're kind of close to a point where like we kind of don't care which ultras we get. We just want more ultras. Ooh, here's an ultra. Because we are getting we're, we're getting kind of oh, it's not a hero card though. We're getting a little close to finishing this hero deck. Ooh, ugh, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty terrible ultra. Like, you would never, in even like any, any in any kind of gravekeeper's deck, like, you would never ever play this card ever ever for any reason ever. Um, I would say even like a more casual gravekeeper's deck, like, you probably would just not play that card. So, pretty bad ultra. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Hey, that wasn't even one of our guaranteed packs. Oh, nice. That was good. Good, good, good. Good pull. Great pull. Glad we got that Ferris. So we just need one Ferris and one Vion from this set. So now that I've pulled one of the Ultras I need, I'm probably just going to go on to Transfigure Heroes next? I don't know. I haven't decided yet, honestly. Still have one more Ultra to pull here. That'll determine that. I think we have another guaranteed Ultra in this 10-pack. Ooh, we have another Ultra here. Not Hero card, necessarily, but... The Iris Sword Soul. Not a terrible ultra to get. Might actually play this as like a generic kind of like just disruption card. Huh. Alright, that's actually a pretty interesting pull. Not definitely not the worst. Definitely not the worst at all. Ooh, we got another ultra. Oh, and it's a hero card. Destiny Hero Dominance. Trigger main phase of the top five, put them back when this card destroys. I mean, whatever, worst case scenario, we'll just, I guess, we could just like throw it in as our 15th card. We'll probably never summon it. Three Destiny Hero monsters, a bit of a, a bit of a harsh requirement, but worst case scenario, it can be dismantled, so. <laughs> Another D Force. Oh no, we did already open our other guaranteed ultra. I guess that was the Ferris? I don't remember actually. Okay, well I thought we had one more left, I guess not. We still pulled more than I was expecting to get. So, and we got a Ferris, so I definitely can't complain too much about that. We got five ultras, it's actually been our best 10 pack so far, so. Um, all right, now, let's see. Yeah, I just need one and one from this pack and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy Transfigured Heroes, I think, for this uh, this last 10 pack for this video here. Cause, yeah, I, I can actually still use this Militia Spain. I, I probably would rather play this as my 15th card uh, in the extra deck. And then we still need the Dark Laws, and I, I'd take a Super Poly, so... Slight Edge goes to the Transfigured Hero spec. Alright. Nice, nice, we got two Guaranteed Ultras and a bunch of Supers. Oh, ooh, and we got the Utopia. We got like all the upgrades. A oh, Royal Finish Ultra. Let's go. And it's a Pancratops. It's actually also not a terrible Ultra to pull for just like a good generic card. So it's a neat pull. Oh, 
Oh, they make new level stuff? I don't know, that, that reads like an old level card. What was this? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention at all to the rest of this pack. Just in, enthralled by a card I thought I'd never seen before. Oh, whoops. I usually don't open them that quickly. I like to have like a little bit of suspense to it. Okay, we got another Ultra here. Another one we weren't expecting to get. Margin trading. Probably like notoriously the worst Ultra. This might actually be the worst Ultra that's not in a Legacy pack. Uh, this card's unplayable. Don't let the fact that it's Ultra trick you into thinking you might be able to find a use for it. It's not playable. Um, <laughs> I know because I've pulled them before, like way, way back, like when, I don't know, I think it first came out, which might have been the first new selection pack, and I was like, is there any use for this card? No, there's not. There's really not. Oh, come on, any my Ultras to be among the hero cards. Lyralisk Ensemble Robin. Well, if I was going to build a bird up, that wouldn't be a bad pull, but I'm not, so... <laughs> Huh, okay, so we got a few supers in here. Hey, we got another super poly. That's actually a pretty good pull, not gonna lie. I'm pretty glad I got that. Oh, we still have, wow, we still have a few more packs here. I thought that was the last one for some reason. So I'll play the super polys for sure. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, all supers in this pack. All right. Two more? Yeah, two more after this. Or, well, there's one more after this, rather. Two including this. Alright, and last pack. Yeah, this was... This, these last two ten packs are both pretty good to me, I'm not gonna lie. Can't complain about them, that's for sure. Alright. Okay, so yeah, we pulled uh, a Super Poly, so we did get one of the things we're at least kind of looking for, and then we pulled some stuff that we're probably going to turn into uh, dust. <laughs> so, um, actually, real quick, before I end the video, I just want to see something here. Let me go back to the Hero deck. Now that I have two Super Polys, I'll play those. I think I might play those over, like, these droplets, maybe? Or maybe I'll do it like this, to get that Feather Duster. And then I guess we'll just stick with that for now. So, now does that, I also want to see, does that fill in, because we pulled, okay, so that does actually fill in when you pull ones you're missing. So that's cool, okay, good. So, yeah, all right, so again, as far as archetype specific ultras, we need one, two, three, four, five. Could honestly get away without this, honestly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. Eh, okay, so that's not, like, completely terrible. Uh, that would be 330 Ultra Craft Points, which we're on our way towards, so... Yeah, the hero deck is looking like it's gonna happen relatively soon here, but uh, definitely even sooner than I expected. Well, actually, it's about the overall timeline I expected, but then we got some bad luck, so I thought it was gonna take longer. But now I think we're a little bit closer back to uh, being on track to where I thought we were gonna be, so... I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. This is like the third day in a row I've put out like an hour video. I think, yeah, I just really like this series and I like doing the sort of less editing uh, format of it just to show you all like really everything I'm doing. Like the only things I've done off screen, honestly, have been like those solo, um, the like solo mode tutorial stuff. Like that was the only thing I've done off screen. Everything else you've seen me do. We got another remission here. I got another hundred gems for finding another secret pack. It's pretty rad, so that much closer to our next 10 pack but i think that's going to do it for this video that's all the time that i have for today so uh yeah without further ado this is xlex i'm signing out and i hope you have a fantastic day